Hello everyone, I am Sikandar Abu Rakib. Welcome to my tutorial. In this tutorial, I am working with AngularJS and Firebase. I am creating a student app. So, first of all, I am going to start my server, HTTP server, and I am going to browser localhost 880. And I have just completed the add student and showing the student into the home page. Today, I am going to show the edit and delete operation for doing that i'm going to the project folder and trying to copy this folder and renaming it as page 3 for edit operation and here is the folder and i'm going to the app.js file and adding here my app.page3 and saving it and also going to index.html and adding one line here page 3 page 3 js and saving it i'm also going to my project folder and opening it and renaming the page to html to page 3 html and also renaming the page to js into page 3 js and i'm going to page 3 html and changing here student edit form and changing it here edit student and this much for now and here update okay and here in page 3 i need to change it here page 3 and here page 3 page 3 page 3 and also here page 3 as well and here is also page 3 and i am deleting this for now and saving it and going to the browser refreshing the project and i am going back to here in page 1 page 1 html and here i need to write hash page 3 and student dot dollar id and i am writing here edit and going to the home page and refreshing it if i move the cursor through each record through this button and it is changing here you can notice it here the id is changing so it is working all right now i did not give the id so if i go here and refresh the page i can go and also okay the page is working now i am going to page 3 and i am going to write here dollar firebase object and i'm copying some code from here and pasting it here and also I am injecting some properties called route params and I am writing var id is equal to route params dot id. I am picking the id from the URL, putting it into the id variable and I am putting this top of it and adding id and writing here dollar scope dot student is equal to dollar firebase object function and within parenthesis ref okay that means we are going to get the collection so into the student array object and trying to show it into the page 3 here in the page 3 student array let us see refreshing the page okay i'm getting the information so i'm going another information yes it is working so far so good so i need to write a student function right now so dollar scope dot edit student and it will be function and putting it here inside and testing going here and yes the function is working okay now i'm going to get the reference again and pasting it here and writing ref dot update some array okay now i need to supply some id parameter from my html so here i can write student dot dollar id and i am sending this through id parameter and trying to console out id and i need to check yes it is giving the id and i can check with another one okay so it is working okay now so what i will update here i will update an object here that is name dollar scope student dot name and department and i am copying this thing here and also level and here also 
level okay and then function success and function error okay here i am giving some reference and copying it here and also copying it here and okay and here i can write console log error okay now i am going to refresh this page and going back to home page and going to edit Sekandar Abu Rakib level 3 I'm changing it at level 1 and trying to update and yes it is updating successfully and I am editing it here 1 and level 4 update and going back to home page yes it is updating so update is working now I'm going to page 1 for delete I'm going to page 1 HTML and I need to create another button and I am writing here delete and I'm writing it here danger okay and I don't need it so I am deleting it and I need to add an attribute here ng click and writing some function delete student and passing the whole student object okay and I'm copying it and going to page one and here I need to write the code scope dot delete student is equal to anonymous function and i'm setting the parameter as info and i'm going to write console dot log and i want to see the info refreshing the page and pressing the delete button and whole object we are creating similarly here and here okay now for deleting i need to write dollar scope dot data dot remove dollar remove and i need to pass that info and it will return a promise so then so i can organize this thing in this way and the same way that i did earlier function ray console okay i'm copying this and also i'm copying this function error and here error okay so i'm going to check first i'm refreshing the page and going to delete this one yes it is deleting and i'm checking here from the firebase database so it is deleting from here as well and if i delete okay if i delete another one it is deleting here also okay now it is deleting here okay i am going to add another student rakib department electrical and electronic engineering and third year saving data yes and i am going to add another student samira department csc and level 4 saving and adding another one shakira csc also and first year level 1 and saving going back to firebase yes data is saving here and I'm going to home page and I'm going to edit some data to Rakib update. Yes, to Sakira Rakib and here also from civil engineering and Samira Rakib. Yes, three. Okay, yes, it is changing. And finally, Sikandar Rakib, E, 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 and four. So it is updating. So I am editing and I can delete the data. From anywhere I like and I can add the data I can update the data and I can delete the data okay so far so good in our next tutorial I will show how to set the filter to search the information and how to use the message a success message or error message to display into the form okay I'll see you next tutorial thank you for watching